I've been looking forward to Mark reviewing Chaos Walking for actually about 10 years <laughs> because I'm a big fan of the, uh, of the Patrick Ness books. Patrick is, is a genius. Um, his novels are, are terrific. And the, the Chaos Walking books, his imagination is up there with Philip Pullman. And it was wow. always, I thought they were probably unfilmable, but then they got exciting word that actually it was being filmed and they had a very good cast and so on. Um, but I'm beginning to feel, I'm just checking the vibes here, looking at the set of Mark's jaw, and I'm prepared to be crushed. Here we go, chaos walking. Well, you know, I would start by saying that thing that you said about there's a concern about whether they're unfilmable. And I would say that on this evidence, they are unfilmable. So, you know, yes, Patrick Ness, a brilliant author. I haven't read um, the Chaos uh, Walking books. Obviously, I'm familiar with The Monster Calls. So this is directed by Doug Lyman. And we reviewed Locked Down recently, which is a film that a kind of heist caper that Doug Lyman made during the pandemic. And it was kind of fun, but, you know, nothing to write about. This was actually made before it. It was shot in, originally shot in 2017. Wow. Principal photography was 2017. And then they had to do reshoots, which pushed into 2019 and involved getting in uh, for the Alvarez. And there was, you know, there were problems. Anyway, so the the, the setup in the film, uh, you'll know better what the setup in the book is. So uh, there's a colonized new world. And the problem is that all the men on the new world can hear each other's thoughts. And the way that these, it, it's it's a kind of idea that owes a debt to some extent to, you know, Douglas Adams talks about, is it Cacrophone? Or, uh, you know, who are the, 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 the race that are cursed with being able to hear each other's thoughts all the time. So they have to keep talking. Otherwise, they just they can hear each other's thoughts. It's an interesting idea. So the way they do it on the film is that there is this kind of CG purple fog of thoughts that go around people's heads. So you hear what they're saying, but then this kind of this foggy thing follows them around talking. And then uh, Viola, played by Daisy Ridley, Star Wars Daisy Ridley, falls onto the planet, immediately meets up with Todd, who's Tom Holland. So these two big stars, it's actually one of the reasons I think why the reshoots took so long, because they were you know walking around Star Wars and Spider-Man and, uh, and all the rest of it. And she falls onto the planet and of course, she can hear all his thoughts because he has never seen a woman before. Here's a clip. Whoa! Stop! Don't come any closer. Girl. Girl. It's a girl. Girl. Oh my gosh. Where are you from? You're a girl. No noise. You from Earthy? Girl! Dave! Shut up, Todd. Sorry, I'm sorry. I've just never... Never seen a girl before. Earth. Are you from Earth? You're really pretty. Yellow hair. Found her. I found her! I found her! Wait, 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 wait! <sighs> Shit. Stupid noise. It's right! Yeah, it's right. Girl. 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 It's kind of that's an indication of how they've tried to get around this idea of the noise and the legend is that uh all the women have been killed in a confrontation with the indigenous spackle and then you meet mass mickelson's mayor and immediately you think that's almost certainly what didn't happen um i suspect something much fouler is afoot i have to say I think this is one of the most ill-judged screen adaptations I've seen. I mean, originally it was earmarked for, I think it was Robert Zemeckis and Charlie Kaufman did the first That's draft right, of yeah. the screenplay. Yeah. And then Charlie Kaufman moved on. There was endless other writers. Doug Lyman came on, as I said, Freddy Alvarez was involved in the reshoots. Um, Kaufman no longer has any credit on it, so I have no idea what, if any, of his script survived. But they did the original shoot, then they did reshoots, and they did test screenings, and blah, 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 blah. And now, I mean, $100 million later and four years, and it creeps, and it's terrible. I mean, it's really, really bad. And I think the, the, the main problem with it is, it is hard to imagine how you would do that idea of the noise on screen effectively and they have not found a way of doing it effectively what you I mean, you literally get characters who have got this purple sort of foggy cg thing going on around their head with their thoughts sort of visualizing around it and it's it's every bit as ridiculous as you know nick cage with his head in a cage of bees at the end of the remake of the wicker man plus this i, there, I mean it's hard to know exactly where to apportion the blame but it's boring, it's plodding, it, it's absolutely inert, it feels vaguely preposterous, but never preposterous enough to be engaging. It just, 
it's when you look at if you compare it to the other kind of you know YA dystopian future movies, it doesn't have any of the zing or zap. Despite the fact, that, as you said, it's you know impressive cast, um, you know people who have starred in really big hit blockbuster movies, but it is quite terrible. And all the time I was watching it, I kept thinking, I'm sure that on the page there is a brilliant version of this, and. You know, I mean, in order for Charlie Kaufman to have a take at the yeah. script, it you know, I mean, regardless of how, you know, warmly or otherwise one feels towards Kaufman's work, he's a serious screenwriter. You know, he's a person of heft. And this is, it's the, what the thing that this lacks is heft or interest or, it is absolutely bum-numbingly dull and stupid. Which is, it's sort of, <laughs> I mean, it's a tragedy because... To yeah, take sorry. a really original, inventive idea, to have Daisy Ridley and Tom Holland as your stars, and for it to be the way you just described, is is offensive, really. Yeah, I mean, I'm really sorry, but it is awful. It is didn't, really didn't, properly rubbish. Didn't Doug Lyman do the first Bourne film? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. and okay. he did Swingers, well, and he did Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and he's a good director. And so, you know, you look at this thing and then actually then you you then look at the production history and you go, OK, you know, written and then rewritten and then rewritten and then shot and then reshot and then cut. And you go, OK. And the, and it looks like a film in which they never solved any. They, they never solved the fundamental problem, which is how are we going to make this not look stupid? 